How is everyone? I hope you're well. First of all, thank you to everyone who came over to Cam and Ali's over on Cracking Cases last night. I know it was late for those of you in the UK, it was midnight, but um, yeah, I felt it was a good live, and um, I'm sure that I will go over there again at some point. But look, today... We're going to look at someone briefly who we haven't yet touched on. There has been a reason for that. Now, Don Sherfy Jr. Now, look, in terms of Don Sherfy Jr., now, my feelings about this guy is that, with respect of everything that we know, I feel that this is one guy who could potentially have dodged somehow under the radar. Now, when we go back to the footprints, the footprints that were found of summer, and I know some people believe that they were there, some people don't, but look, there were footprints, and these footprints, it was said that they appeared to be where someone had potentially been carried and placed down. They were periodically placed, but one of the places that these footprints were found on or near was a property that had connections with Don Sherfy Jr. This was a property that he would sometimes stay. So look, you've got a guy who has potentially got family who there would be, how can I put this, there would be a benefit for him not being looked into. Does that make sense? You know, some people may not want to dig too deeply in order to bring him to the surface. And he could be indeed being protected. But look, he can't be protected from everything. And we can see now he has recently been indicted. They found that he had over a thousand images of a predatory nature you know miners in these pictures and the worrying thing about that guys is this and that is that what you find with these predators when they have an abundance of pictures that is generally because they are connected or having connections to the dark web because one of the stipulations on many of these pages that you go to on the dark web is that you have to show that you have those proclivities so they will stipulate that you have to have and show images you will have to be part of a sharing network that you share an abundance of images so it could just prove that don Sherfy jr was indeed involved in not only those sort of things on the the mainstream web but of a much darker proclivity and look, at the end of the day, Summer vanished. She went somewhere. And, you know, we can say till the cows come home that someone got up onto that property and took Summer. And I just, I can't really see that happening unless they were sculping that building out. They, they knew what was going on and they saw a uh, there was a period of time where they could have got up there and it would have had to have been someone local who knew the area or summer just ventured that little bit too far and she got taken by someone who again was familiar with the area and look you cannot ignore things that stare you in the face and perhaps that we've just got too into the rabbit holes and it is something far far more simple and that is that a little girl wandered a little bit too far when she was given the time and opportunity to do so by a mother who wasn't paying attention and she stumbled into the well into the into the path of a predator there was no one else about and this predator took Summer. Maybe he took her originally and was hoping to be able to return her. And things didn't work out that way because of how the case exploded and it turned into something completely different. You know, it's possible. It's possible that maybe Don Sherfy Jr. acquired the help of somebody else, perhaps someone else in his family. 
what would a family member do to help a child? We've blamed Jodie Sue, haven't we? We've looked at Jodie Sue and the things that she has said and the things that she could have potentially done when her son was sort of remarked as being up on that premises. But what about Don Sherfy Jr.? What about his connections, his family? And what if he just overstepped the mark and, um, and needed some help from someone to get him out of a muddle? This guy is someone that we cannot ignore. This is someone who could play a very important part in what happened to Summer Wells. And I think that some people, law enforcement especially, they need to start looking at certain people. And maybe they are. Maybe they maybe they are. But um, I think there's enough information out there that would lead you to believe that law enforcement are either they're out of funds they don't want to spend the funds or they've exhausted things to the point where they don't really know what to think there's so many stories there's so many plausible things but look just because of that case we can't just turn around and say well look there's so many things that could have happened um we haven't got the funds we ain't got the money um we're just gonna have to let it lie until someone spits it out because no one's gonna spit it out summer deserves more and Don Jeffy Jr., someone needs looking into him. And um, who knows, it might be that we have to get a PI and look a little bit deeper into that ourselves. Catch you all in the next one.